Hi everybody. It is Shalithia with Make and Homesteading and here is the video that you guys have been requesting. Yes, I listened to you and yes, we are going to try to do this today. So I have been talking, I've brought it up a little bit here and there about this apple brandy that I ferment in our home. Um, so some of you have requested that I make this video, so I am going to show you exactly how I make my apple brandy. And some of you are going to call this something totally different, but I like to call it apple brandy. So let me show you what it looks like um, at the end, because I do have one that I've recently made and it doesn't last long around this house. But it is so, so good and fermentation actually helps with so many things. So. Here's this. All right, guys. So this is the apple brandy that I have made before. And it does taste really good. It's not real sweet. It does have a real smooth flavor. Um, so yeah, we drink this around the house. And so I'm going to show you how we make the apple brandy. Um, and yes, it is fermented and I couldn't tell you exactly what the alcohol content is or anything, but it's tasty. Um, so here we go. So what you're going to need for this project is a knife so you can cut your apples. You're going to need something to press these down with. You're going to need sugar. No, you cannot use honey. Syrup or any other sweetener. No artificial sweeteners, no stevia, um, nothing like that. Um, the way this process works is the sugars are what helps ferment it and break it down. So you're going to want sugar. And don't just get something that says sugar and it's like just white sugar because sometimes that is beet sugar. So you want to make sure that it actually says raw cane sugar somewhere on your package. And you are going to need lovely raisins. Raisins, yes. Um, if you can find them, you know, nat the more natural you can go, the better. Um, sometimes I know that's not an option completely, but do the best that you can. And let's get started on this, okay? So this is not apple season right now. So you're going to notice that a lot of these have little nicks nooks, crannies, doesn't matter. We can cut that part off and we can still use this apple, okay? Um, I would have waited until they're more in season, but everybody's requesting it, so I wanna get this done. So if you do do this during the winter or during times that it's not apple season, the apples are gonna cost you more. So if you actually want to save some money, wait until they're in season and then do this, all right? So let's cut these up and let's get to showing you exactly what it is that we do in this process. And you don't want the seed, okay? So that needs to come off. And then what you'll do is you'll just prep these like this. And I actually like to cut them down. Some people will actually just cut them into quarters or whatever. I find that you can fit more in and it makes the fermentation process better. So I tend to cut them small. So I'm gonna cut that piece off. And again, you're just going to prepare these like this. All right, and um, I'm going to not make you guys suffer through all this cutting process. So I am going to fast forward this part a little bit and so you guys can see exactly how we're going to do this, okay?
All right, everybody. So we have about 12 pounds of apples prepared. Yes, 12 pounds. Um, I'm sorry, six pounds, because 12 pounds together. Sorry, so we got about six pounds prepared. And so this way I can show you exactly how to do this. All right, here's our jar. And um, what you do is really easy, all right? And I think you guys can see it from here, so I'm gonna just move this over a little bit. And you are going to make the first layer of apples here. Okay. And you can see how much this is taking. Now this is a 2.5 gallon jar. So you can do this in a gallon jar. You can do this in a half gallon jar. It's just not gonna make as much, okay? You can do it in a five gallon jar if you have a big enough one. All right, so you can see that there is a full layer here at the bottom of the jar, all right? So then you are going to take some raisins and you're just going to dump them around just like this. All right. And it doesn't have to be totally full with raisins, but you just, it helps. It's just yummy. Okay. And then you take your sugar and your sugar, you're going to get a layer a light layer of sugar. And I say light, but actually you want a pretty good layer of sugar. Because again, the sugar is what causes the fermentation process, okay? So, I'll knock this off of here. i to sweep again. <laughs> All right, so that is what the inside is going to look like. I hope that you guys can see that okay. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this. I'm going to get it up to the top and then I will come back and we'll discuss a little bit more on how we're going to push everything down. So whenever it gets to the top, you're just gonna wanna push it down. I don't think I need to like discuss this with you guys fully, thinking about this for half a second. So I will fill it, I'll push it down, you'll see all this in the time lapse, and then we will stop it so we can look at the finished pro product, okay? So give me one sec, let's fast forward through this part.
All right, everybody, so we got a finished product here, and the next part is actually one of my favorite parts. Actually, I love this whole process, but this is, like, so cool. So, first, before I get to that, we're going to go ahead and clean this off from all outside sugar. You don't want to attract bugs, so make sure that you get that outside sugar because... To me, that's very important. Whenever you have, whenever you're planting, whenever you're doing stuff on a homestead, you tend to attract things, anyways. So whatever we can do. Oh, and I have to clean up my apples and my my um, raisins from earlier. I threw them all over the floor. I guess because I'm in a hurry because I still need to go to work today. So here we go. That's all cleaned off. So this is really cool, guys. Um, I used about one and a half containers of raisins and those are 22.5 ounces of raisins in each one of those containers all right um so at the end of this just take a piece of cardboard you know you can take a piece of cardboard off of one of the boxes you get off of amazon um or whatever that's what i typically do i have cardboard around from little orders that i order off amazon my seeds or you know whatever so just put this on top well, we'll put this on top after this, but you're going to wrap it with saran wrap, okay? You want to make sure that it can breathe, but you don't want it, like, you know, open. So we're just going to put the saran wrap like that. Bam, over top. I'm going to try to make sure that it is pretty even all the way around. Okay, and voila, rubber band, bam, all right. So the reason I put the cardboard on, though, is literally because it seeps through the plastic, and whatever heavy book you put on top is going to smell like your fermentation, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I don't want it to ruin my book either. Um, of course, this is a Strong's book, so it is a real heavy book, so now... You set it and forget it, okay? Seriously, you find a dark, um, cool spot or whatever in your home or in maybe your cellar, and you set it there for three months, at least three months. You're going to see it's going to start looking nasty. It's going to start looking gross, but you'll start seeing that there is um, liquid that starts filling up on it. And that's the liquid. That's the liquid gold right there, guys. And so just give it three months. You can give it four months if you decide to. These are going to start turning dark in color, and they're going to look scary, and you're going to be scared. But don't be scared because it is an awesome process. Um, there's a lady that I learned this from originally, and her name is Stacy. So it's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. You would be good to go find their video and check them out. She also calls it an apple brandy. Um, I will try to link that in the description down below and you know God willing I'll come back and we'll show you some more videos and until next time you guys have a lovely week if you've liked this video if you'll subscribe right down below give us a thumbs up hit that bell so you'll know whenever I upload new videos and you guys seriously seriously have a wonderful week bye for now